subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates there's good reason why john doer is called the pier pipe of internet in 1990s doer's venture capital firm was one of the earliest investors in silicon valley startups like google and amazon it certainly took more than vision and risk appetite for doer to bet on such wealth churning giants by his own admission his early days in the semiconductor industry helped him identify the potential in google and amazon in the semiconductor industry tens of thousands of people must get lines that are a millionth of a meter that is 1 micron wide exactly right or else nothing works the semiconductor chips fail so doer's eye for detail helped him see the potential in the largest internet companies across the globe in the late 1990s itself in 2004 when google went public doer propagated the idea of investing in next generation semiconductor startups according to him the tiny wafer like chips could hold the prospect of wealth creation across decades hi i'm tanushree banerjee editor of equity masters blue chip recommendation service stock select Welcome to Safe Stocks where we discuss ideas to create and preserve wealth in the safest stocks. If you haven't subscribed to the Equity Master YouTube channel yet, please do so and click on the bell icon to get notifications for my latest videos. So coming back to semiconductors. Semiconductors such as memory chips are the backbone in emerging technologies. Nothing has been left untouched by the semiconductors. Artificial intelligence reliant smartphones, internet of things, 5G the auto sector most of the US chip makers rely on foundries in Taiwan to manufacture chips the foundries in turn rely on equipment chemicals and silicon wafers from the US Japan and Europe semiconductor chip manufacturing involves technological complexity and scale Taiwan's TSMC and South Korea's Samsung Electronics are the world's largest foundries they have over 70% of the semiconductor manufacturing market share taiwan in fact accounts for 92% of advanced semiconductor chips tsmc is the world's largest contract chip maker the current trade tensions between the us and china are likely to impact chip production in taiwan plus supply chain disruptions and factory closures during the covid lockdown led to acute shortage in semiconductor supplies across the globe However, the industry is poised for significant growth in 2020s. Now it is said that modern wars are fought with semiconductors. If that's indeed the case, China has no plans to concede. The capacity for semiconductor chips in China has swelled over the years. China's Beijing plant with a total investment of nearly 50 billion yuan is expected to start operations in 2024. it boasts of a monthly production capacity of 1 lakh 12 inch silicon wafers global supremacy in chip manufacturing could potentially lend china a huge geopolitical edge in the post covid world so where does india stand currently india imports almost all semiconductors used here its demand is estimated to reach around 100 billion dollars by 2025 from about 24 billion dollars in 2021 Previous efforts to get companies to invest in the semiconductor space has failed. The complex manufacturing process requires heavy investments apart from the need for supply of uninterrupted clean water and electricity. India is seen as a strong player in chip design, but the companies have failed to get chip foundries into the country. When COVID hit in early 2020, companies across the globe adopted the China plus 1 policy. This encouraged electronics makers to see India as a viable chip manufacturing hub. The investments in India semiconductor capacity are expected to grow fourfold in the next few decades. The Indian government has recently approved a 76000 crore production linked incentive plan or PLI for chip makers as early as December 2021. It's here that India's defense prowess comes in. This decade is going to be crucial for large chip manufacturing countries. The landscape of the global semiconductor industry may change dramatically in the coming decades. China is set to become the biggest chip producer after Taiwan and South Korea. By 2024, China is expected to have 20% share of the global chip capacity. Japan 12% and the US 10%. 
Meanwhile, China believes that US could inflict acute economic pain by depriving it of the most essential physical resource of the 21st century, semiconductors. That is where India fits into China's plans. The semiconductor industry requires two key resources like I told you, sand and fresh water. 10,000 liters of fresh water is needed to manufacture 130 centimeter silicon wafer. So China has been aggressively trying to acquire these critical resources in India's northern borders. To add to that, India and Taiwan are in talks for lower tariffs to shift semiconductor capacities to India. This too has made China insecure. The semiconductor problem, the increasing vulnerability of China's economy and its military supply constraints will lead China to consider military action against Taiwan. Again, India has had to rely on US military capacities during the Doklam crisis in 2017. This was the first time the country did so since the 1962 war with China. To protect its borders and ring fence India's economic prospects in areas such as semiconductor chip manufacturing, India needs strong military capabilities. Therefore, India's indigenous defense equipment and chip making plants are joined at the hip. Understanding this common link between India's leading defense and semiconductor stocks could help investors take advantage of critical policy tailwinds. India's best semiconductor stocks, apart from the chip design specialists, could also be amongst the electronics manufacturers with an edge in defense related manufacturing. Hope you like this video. Stay tuned for more such videos on India's most profitable long term mega trends. Thanks for watching.